I'm расскажу. going to explain how to play the tang drum with fingers, how to make the instrument sound good and correct. Some of you probably do it well from the very beginning, but some others can face difficulties. The reason for it is not that you can't play at all, it usually means that your joints aren't trained enough. The main thing is to beat a ton in a hard-hitting way, like a slash. I do it with my index finger, and you can also do it with a middle one. It means that your finger pad should bend a ton and jump off immediately. The ton starts oscillating, and you hear the sound. In terms of training, you should bend the bottom of the ton, not its top. The sound will be a bit worse and not that clear. Let me show you the difference. But you'll find it much easier to make a sound in such a way. It's easier to produce it at these points. So you'd better start with this. In case you fail to make sounds with the foresight fingers, try to use your thumb knuckle. Personally, I started to play like that back in the day. The sound acquires a quick thrust effect due to the knuckle beat, which is obviously heard. That's not a big deal if you hear it. The more important thing is that your hand remembers this quick jumping movement. So use this movement as the initial way of training. Then you can start learning to play with your index and middle fingers, beating the tan bottom first, and slowly moving to the top step by step. This is one of the techniques you can use to make a tan resonate on sound. Besides, to make different sounds when playing the tank drum, you can apply some other techniques entailing that immediate jumping off. You can also beat two tons at a time using your thumb knuckle again. For example, you can beat these two tons providing a comfortable finger position. Bend the lower one with your thumb knuckle and the upper one with your index finger pad. Thus, you'll hear both tones sounding, in other words, T notes. Or try these tones. That's another combination. You can also make sounds using your palm. To do that, you should muffle several tons of your tank drum first. Look, I muffle half of all the tons with my left hand. And beat the other ones with my right palm. Then I just move my hands. also try to play your tank drum using a sound wave effect. Look, I put my hand here first and then detach it at once. Thus you'll have this effect. The camera doesn't probably demonstrate it, but you'll definitely hear it in reality. It. When playing this tune, I mix different techniques. My left index finger is well trained and I use it to beat this ton. For some reason, this finger is like longer and handier than the middle one. I trained it specifically for hard hitting. So I be here and use the other hand to follow. It turns out that I combined two sounding tones on two notes. These two ones, and then two more. So these are my little hacks. 
There are more tips for further finger training. If you have already trained an index and a middle finger, try to combine them when playing such trills or warbles. It's pretty easy. You only need to learn to beat with your fingers in a way I'm showing you now. You can also make a sound and immediately muffle it. Most important thing in sound making is regular practice. Relax your hands and gently beat the tongue with immediate jumping off. Imagine that your finger is just a loose and bouncing stick. Remember that your wrist also takes part in this process. It's not constrained, it's relaxed and only flaps the tongue. Mind that it's better to beat the bigger tons in the beginning, as it's easier to make them resonate. So I guess everything is quite clear. You should only relax your hands and try these techniques yourself. It's not necessary to beat hard. Do it gently. The sound becomes quieter, but it's not really a big deal. Having bound it on gently, put your finger away immediately. This is the main thing, actually. It's pretty easy. That's all about phonation, you know. <laughs>